friends and welcome back to Rise of the Tomb Raider. In our last video, we did continue our time in the Blood Ties mission area of Croft Manor. We're currently 63% complete, so I feel like I, I got a lot done in the last video, but we still have one more digit to find in the safe code and one more area, it seems, left to explore in this manor, which means in theory we will finish that up today, perhaps, possibly, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I do want to try to get all the documents and relics and everything just so I have a full picture of what happened here. And document! <laughs> My lord, we all hope your work was well received at the conference and look forward to your return. As is so often the case with these missives, I wanted to call your attention to an incident involving our little angel. It seems that Lara has been the subject of some ridicule amongst the other girls at school. Aww. From what I can gather, some of the other young ladies were teasing her for being too much of a tomboy. You know how Lara can get when pushed into a corner. <laughs> Let's just say they won't be bothering her again. <laughs> but I do think their words have had an effect. I believe Lara has been missing her mother lately. She's begun to worry that she isn't like the other girls. And having grown up with only a father, it shouldn't come as a surprise that she has trouble relating to them. I wonder if this new friend of yours, Anna, is it? Perhaps she might prove a welcome influence. It might be worth bringing her to the manor to meet Lara. In any case, I'll let you decide the proper time to do that. Please travel home safely. Yours, Winston. Or maybe he could have just spent more time at home with his kid. That probably would have helped him too. There is nothing wrong with being a tomboy. I was called a tomboy when I was a kid it, and I survived. But girls are mean. Girls are mean. Being bullied is not fun by anybody. Anyway, moving on. Winston, concern. Oh, Winston, he really did look out for me. Yeah, he did. Because it seems like he was the one raising you because you, your dad was off doing who knows Mom's what. Mom's atelier. Dad sealed it soon after she died. He probably couldn't bear the idea of removing any of her belongings. Untouched for years, exactly as she left it. Well, that's really sad. I stood up to my family's criticism, stood in defense of Richard and our love. But as my new life began in Croft Manor, doubt set in. How could love flourish in these cavernous halls and endless passageways? Had I made a terrible mistake, I have never been more delighted to be wrong. Richard welcomed me to the manor, my new home, with a game. It was a clue, written in jumbled words from five different languages, but it pointed the way forward. The next clue was a seemingly blank piece of parchment in the kitchen, where the heat of a candle revealed a message written in lemon juice. I followed each step grinning like a child as I solved his riddles and chased the trail to its end. A white cloth stretched out on the lawn where a picnic was laid out. <laughs> we laughed and ate, and my doubt vanished with the last of the morning mist. Aww. Love can and will endure. Imagine if she couldn't figure out the clues, like how long until he would come looking for her. <laughs> I'm just kind of wondering. Amelia's journals games we played good job dad you knew the you knew how hard this decision was for her and you made it easy well let's let's go this way since i know there's stuff over here right away what is that? i don't have any memory of this i wish i could remember doing this mom died too young oh Amelia's belongings, picture of Amelia and Lara painting together. That is so sweet. Mom with me is a baby. I've never seen this. Hard to believe I was ever that small. Mm. More Amelia's belongings, photo of Amelia holding Lara. Paintings are pretty awesome. Mum's paintings. Which one was Dad's favorite? I I don't know. Maybe this will tell us. I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. 
I suppose I should say, I returned to my family's home. Atlas was there, in one of his foul moods, and even as he dripped venom for Richard with his cruel barbs, I could only laugh. To think that I once listened to my bitter brother in matters of my own happiness. My dismissal only served to infuriate him more. <laughs> I left him there in father's study, muttering to himself. On the drive back, as Winston took a longer route through the country, I looked through my paintings. Richard's favourite one among them. A simple abstract with blocks of red. I smiled, thinking about giving it to him. I was happy. And... I was going home. Oh, safe combination clues moving in. It must have been so hard for her to give up her family. I mean, it's kind of like her family walked away from her. Anyway, blocks of red. That's the one we need to look for. Mm, blocks of red. Dad's blocks of favorite red. painting. Maybe something about that painting will help me figure out the combination. Okay, back to the study to open that safe. Well, there's four blocks of red, so maybe the this, 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 this scythe combination... The middle number is a four. Okay. Found found the other other two numbers in my in my scribblings. <laughs> but there was a whole other room over here to look at too. Nothing. You've almost got it, darling. Here. Let me show you. Like this. See? <laughs> well done, Laura. Well done. Aww. I wonder how my life would have been different had she lived. Very, very different, I imagine. Oh, I can't light this one. Must serve no purpose. See, like, now where did that go? Is it, it, well, I just a door out to the their bedroom area, it looks like. I do find it funny how one of the most preserved areas is her, is her mom's studio. Oh, can we go up here? We can! Master key. Amazing. What are we gonna get? This was for a show in London of Mum's work. What I wouldn't give to see this today. Hmm. It says here, Amelia Croft plans to show her work in New York. I wonder what happened with that. She died? That's what happened? Amelia's belongings, gallery pamphlet. Oop, another document. Yay! Lara arrived tonight, though not without a bit of drama, but <laughs> all is well. She's a healthy, beautiful baby. I've never seen Richard so happy. I'm sure he'll be celebrating with his favorite whiskey tonight. It's calm and peaceful now. Just the gentle sound of the rain and the small, sleeping breaths of this new life I hold in my arms. Lara, Lara Croft, my Darling daughter, it's hard to put into words this feeling I have. We share a connection, something I never expected. A love so powerful and pure. Someday you'll feel it too. No matter where you go or where you find your place in this world, we will always have this connection. Oh, that's so sweet. Amelia's journals, a new love. I still feel that connection to you, Mom. And I'm like, we're not gonna just jump down this time? Disappointing. I'm glad I still have so much of Mum's work. Nope, can't definitely can't light that fireplace. Although I still need a crowbar from somewhere. I wonder where that's at. I'll worry about that later. Although I feel like later is going to be sooner <laughs> rather than later. Dad, what do you keep in there? Nothing too important, Lara. Estate business and such. If it's not important, then why bother putting it in a safe? <laughs> I should know better than to try and pull one over on you. <laughs> there is something important in here. And it's for you, should you need it someday. Well, let's hope you came through for me, Dad. Didn't miss anything, did I? I hope not. All right, safe combination. Okay, 
found all the clues. Let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, so the first clue was supposed to be her treasure, which was five. Then the next clue was the painting, and it was four blocks of the red cube, so I'm going to go four. And then the last clue was their anniversary date, which was the ninth. That worked. Master detective achievement unlocked. It makes me happy to know that Dad kept us safe. Oh, clay imprint of Laura's hand, Laura's childhood. No, that's not what I'm looking for. No, it's not. <laughs> I am numb. It is taking all my willpower to hold back the overwhelming grief. Amelia's plane crashed in the mountains. She died alone in the snow waiting for me to find her. Oh, no. Oh, God, not her, not now. I cannot accept it. Life without her is too painful to imagine. I know what must be done. And I am resolved. I'm going to bring her back. Perhaps this is why I am here. Perhaps this is fate. A test of my faith in the truth I've sought for so long. Roth will fight me on this, but I can't face Lara. I can't look into her eyes unless I try. I must try to bring Amelia back. The monks are preparing the elixir now. And then we will see if all my years of hunting this truth was for naught. Um, you want to zombify her mom? That sounds... I... Well, he's grieving. Lord Croft's journal's broken. Dad, oh no, what did you do? Uh, clearly Dad, nothing's successful. what did you do? Dad's sequel to his first book on immortality. He never got a chance to publish it. Hmm. Handwritten. This is the only copy. I mean, all that handwritten, that's a lot of handwritten book. That made more sense in my head. <laughs> Damn, this isn't it either. I was certain there had to be a will in here. There's still Wait, one more paper. what's that? <laughs> hmm, a blank page. Do we need to find a nether? Um, fire? Dad must have left this for me. It has to be important. Find a way to decipher the letter. Well, let's go to the live. Well, no, I've got a. Let's use the one down and down downstairs. A little bit. Maybe quicker to get to. Maybe. A hidden message. Something underneath the bed? Oh what no. What are these strange marks? They have to be some kind of clue. Huh. Okay, so it looks like a bird is the third one. I have no idea. A stick figure maybe for the middle one? And then something with three dots for the first one. Okay. Solve the mystery. Okay, so I go to the relics. Um, hieroglyphic worksheet. Okay. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. Okay, so the three dots looks like one. The stick figure looks like four. And then the... Was it a double bird? Or was it that one? Huh. Um, blank letter. A hidden message. Hmm. Just the one bird, but it looks like it has something next to it. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Aha, Egypt had two. a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual, actual number, number hieroglyphs. hieroglyphics. Yes, you've been saying that over and over again. So number two. So I think it is one, four, and then two. But we'll, we'll see whenever I figure it out. But where... 
Okay, it looks like I'm going over here. Solve the mystery of the blank letter. But where is the map? A hidden me message. To. It looks like it's down in the basement area. Maybe. Because it's got the wine cellar kind of looking arches. I do wonder where there's a crowbar. <laughs> I, like I kind of want to go look that up right now, but let's let's just keep going and see how I do without Googling. That doesn't take me anywhere. Um, I go straight. Ah, door. And then down. Yeah, here are the arches. And then... No. Documents. No. Relics. A hidden message. And around. So between and around. So between this... Okay. I have it kind of in my head. Here somewhere, there's supposed to be something. Aha! Okay. So, one, four, two. That worked. Okay, that's, uh... Sounds like somebody's running. Damn, locked in. Oh, E to interact. Hmm, did this open the secret door from the inside? Hope I'm not trapped in here. Probably now we're stuck here forever. <laughs> Does, do they not just have the coolest house? There's a secret passageway. <laughs> okay, 10 more documents and 12 more relics. Goodness gracious. Did dad build all of this just to keep his research safe? That's a little, um, I'm just going to say that that's a little excessive if he did. <laughs> oh, wow. Search Lord Croft's secret vault for clues. The hidden truth. Okay, well, let's start here. Maybe, there we go. The renovations are proceeding in secret. The work crew Roth hired for the job have been paid handsomely to keep the details of the job out of the records, so I'm fairly confident no word will get out about what I'm doing. I've been careless with presenting my findings, attracting all the wrong sorts of attention. Roth thinks I'm being paranoid by building this secret vault, but I know I'm being watched. My work is too important, and potentially too dangerous. It can't fall into the wrong hands. I need a secure place to keep it all safe. I mean, yeah, you probably do come off as crazy, but knowing what we know now, having just played a little bit of the game, like, evil stepmother Anna was spying on him this whole time. Although, did she know about the secret, you know, bunker down here? Anyway, Lord Croft's journals keeping secrets. Dad must have seemed paranoid, yeah, to Roth. <laughs> but I understand why he built this vault. Oh, here's... The missing page from oh. the renovation plans. They didn't want anyone outside the family knowing about this crypt. The renovations, missing renovation page. What is... Like he was trying to put together a pot or something. Dad's Tibetan scroll. I remember he used to pour over this late into the night. I mean, look at the container it's in. It's amazing. Lord Croft's belongings, Tibetan scroll. <laughs> It's over. I have done all that I could, and my Amelia is still cold and dead. 
Roth first scowled at my designs. Then he pleaded with me not to go through with the ritual. Not because he feared it might work, but because he feared what I might do when it failed. And it has failed. There is no doubt in that. I prepared everything according to my research. When I dropped the stone into the elixir and held it to her lips, I thought for the barest moment that it had worked. The hour was midnight and my pocket watch stopped inexplicably. There was a charge in the air like the moment before a lightning strike. For a heartbeat, I imagined that my life was being drawn from me as one empties a glass in order to be poured back into Amelia. I would have welcomed death if the last thing I saw were her eyes, clear and alive again. But the moment passed. Amelia is still dead, and I was no Orpheus. We will return to the manor and lay her to rest. I owe her that much. Oh, my gosh. But that, the, the watch that stopped at midnight, that, that makes sense now. Lord Croft's journal is a ritual. Oh, Dad, part of me wishes you had succeeded. I oh, let's let's think that all the way through. What did you it bring your mom? Her home. She's here somewhere. Oh, I missed that part. The Jade dragon. This yeah. was part of a set of statues Dad found in China. He thought it was linked to the Temple of Xi'an. Perhaps I should look into it someday. Uh, maybe. Is that where we're going in the third game? <laughs> I, do I send some foreshadowing, maybe? Immortality Collection Jade Dragon Statue. Or is it a throwback to like some of the other games? Because I don't understand those references at all. Richard, I tried to see you in person last week, but your manservant hustled me away like <laughs> some common tout peddling silverware. He told me you are heartbroken and you're not yet ready to see visitors. He told me you blame yourself for your loss. Well, to that, I say, you had damn well better. Ooh. I hope it hurts. I hope every moment of your life from this day forward is a ringing echo of loss. I hope you live just long enough to feel that pain grow when you hoped it would diminish because you earned it. You stole Amelia from us. You ruined her reputation and poisoned her mind with a fantasy for children. In the end, you might as well have choked the life from her with your own hands. Do not contact me again, ever. But you must make arrangements for the future of your daughter. Have you considered perhaps it would be better if you followed Amelia <gasps> sooner rather than later? As oh long as gosh. legal guardian, perhaps I could erase some of the damage you've already done to the poor girl. If not, I will do everything in my power to see to it that the Croft name is forgotten. Wow. Lara deserves better than you. So did Amelia. And so do we all. Atlas. I understand being angry. I, I do. But like you came to see him and he's like, don't contact me ever again. I'm like, but you're the one writing the, you're the one contacting him and like telling him to delete himself so that you can then raise his daughter. Man, you are messed up. I mean, I, again, I understand grief and everything to a certain extent, but that's, that's awful. Atlas de Mornay blame. Uncle Atlas won't stop until the Croft name is ruined. I have to find a way to get him out of my life. Yeah, he's toxic, right? <laughs> Dad's collected knowledge. There must be so many secrets hidden in here. But we can't open it. Again, I love how the journals are bound and the the 3D emblem on the on the front of it and the latch. It's really it's really cool. Lord Croft's Codex from Lord Croft's Belongings. There's a big box and that's another letter, I think. Might be able to use this to access other parts of the manor. Yeah, I, a crowbar. <laughs> I just had to be patient. There's a letter here, I think. A crowbar can be used to pry open various objects and doors throughout the manor. Yes, there were two, do three doors down in the cellar area, I think. My love, it is silent. So peacefully silent now. Even after the madness and chaos of the crash, oh, no. I can't help but still wonder at the beauty of these mountains. I understand the magic that drew you here. Please know that I feel no pain in this moment. Only immense sadness. <laughs> Sadness that I couldn't see your smiling face once more. 
that I'll never meet the wonderful woman that our daughter will become. <laughs> there is so much to say, but I'm tired. Oh, the, the sun is setting. The cold of night will overwhelm me. I know I will fall asleep soon, and likely never again awaken in this world. I'm scared, Richard. What lies beyond? You know I've always struggled with faith, so I'm holding on to yours for now. I'm holding on as best I can, my love. Become the father Lara deserves. Know that I will live on in her. Oh, that is so, that is so sad. Amelia's journals facing death. I can't imagine what dad felt reading this letter from mom. I can barely read it without bursting into tears. I hope he eventually came. I hope he came to eventually see, see Amelia in me. I hope so, but he wasn't. A, it doesn't seem like your dad was around that much, which is really, really mom sad. Faced death alone. She was so brave. Find more info. Case number something something. Nope, I think I got everything here. There's this big sunburst on the wall I gotta figure out. Amazing. Even in here, Dad went out of his way to hide his findings. Uh, oh. Wow. It's black light. Do I get anything else interesting to pick up from that? Or is it just E to interact? Is it just the light again? Okay. All right. There's an inscription. This is the Croft universe. Our knowledge is to the east. Our respite to the west. Our future is to the south. Our past is to the north. I wonder if I can read any of it. More to sun, autumn, more Latin, more Latin, more Latin. All right, the final puzzle, sun-shaped plaque. Our past to the north. Could there be something else beneath the manor? Maybe. Oh, smashy, Jessica. Smash, smash. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Aww. So I know I only just returned to school, but when can I come out to the dig site again? <laughs> it's just so boring here. We're doing all the stuff I already read last summer. I always end up staring out the window and thinking about our expeditions, and then I'm yelled at for daydreaming. I promise I'll be good and not disturb you and just work wherever you tell me. I just miss it, Dad. And I miss you. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't just... Hire a tutor and, you know, bring her on all the sites with him. But though, then again, with what happened with his wife, I imagine he was scared something bad would happen to her. So it's, yeah, messages, a letter to dad. I don't remember writing this. I do remember being bored at school, though. I, okay, I think that was one of the uh, lockers I needed to open. But there were, if I remember correctly, there were two more over here, I think. Maybe. I'm going, I think I'm going the right way. Uh, there's one that led to a dead end and I don't think this was it. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, the totem that's destroyed because of all the water damage. I mean, I have concerns about the foundation of your house, Lara. <laughs> like, you might, it might be in a worse state than you think it is. Okay, then there were these two here, I think. Right? Oh, crying. All that for nothing, really? 
Come on. There we go. Now we get a prize. Lord Croft is resolved to seal the west wing of the manor. I try to talk sense into him, but he will not be swayed. And to make matters worse, I believe his experiences in Tibet have only further fueled the fire of his obsession. He's now up at all hours in his study, researching God knows what. And poor Lara, she is so confused. Yeah. Too young to understand the tragedy that has befallen this great house. My dearest hope is that Lord Croft will emerge from his grief and embrace fatherhood and the love of his daughter. But I fear he may give in to his obsessive nature, that which Lady Amelia tempered in him so well. In any case, I will be a rock for young Lara. She will never sense tragedy and sorrow in me, only the love and support she deserves. Oh, Winston, you're such a good person. Winston, respectful duty. Winston was my rock. Always had a smile on his face, never letting on that something was wrong. And yet you still locked him in a freezer, Lara. <laughs> Let's be clear. You still did horrible things to that poor man. Acting out, misbehaving is one thing, but ugh, rats. That there was, that that's just also like locking a man in the freezer where he could have died. Not, not cool. Okay, I'm supposed to go to the main hall area, it looks like. And I'm 89% complete. Four more documents and six more relics. Okay. This is the library, so not the main hall. <laughs> It looks like sometimes with the glare from the outside and, and her and her flashlight, it looks like um there's other things. Oh, there's glowing. Oh, it's the the symbol of the sundial. <laughs> Did you see the size of that thing? She just pulls it out of her pocket. Which <laughs> is to the east, a respite to the west. Our future is to the south. Our past is to the north. Um. Okay. Oh. Really? Investigate the Croft family crypt. And I guess it's not so weird that a family like this would have a crypt. I just wouldn't expect that it would be, you know, in your house. But I, I'm not a family like this, so I have no idea what's normal or not. Incredible. This crypt was here all along. Wow. This doesn't look new. My great grandmother Rose, nicknamed the Golden Rose for her perfect reputation. I wonder what she would have thought of me. Well, of everybody. Like how great grandmother very different generations <laughs> ancestors legacy the golden rose here lies scarlet croft and then thomas edward croft i know there's a thing in the center we'll get there rose croft that must have been her great grandmother that she was just talking about and then i can't read the name down there it's probably fine Benjamin Croft. Okay, well. Oh, My wow. My God, can it be? Dad, you did bring her home. Oh, it's her mom. Um. Just trying to read some more names on the walls.
My dearest Lara, it is difficult to write this, knowing these may only ever be words on a page to you. Oh, Lara. I wonder if you will remember my voice. Will you remember the way we used to play and laugh? Will you remember me comforting you when you were sad? Know that I'm still with you, Lara. My energy, my love, it's within you. It always will be. Use that energy to pursue your passions in life. Never let others determine your journey. You become who you are through your choices, through the love you give and the promises you keep. I hope you are happy, that you are loved and successful in whatever it is you choose to do. I am proud of you, my darling. Remember me with all my love, your mother. Oh, Laura. Oh, we're done. Rise of the Tomb Raider blood ties. Hmm, what's this? A letter. Legacy achievement unlocked. Additional relics will become available in the manor when the main game has been completed. Okay. A letter. Lara, I have received the notarized affidavit confirming Amelia's grave and the discovery of the burial crypt within the manor premises. While I can't fathom why your father would hide your mother's fate from her own family, I cannot deny that any legal claims I may have had on the estate are now null and void. Croft Manor and the remainder of your father's assets are now yours in perpetuity to do with as you wish. If there comes a time when you require assistance in managing the estate, I hope you will consider contacting me to retain my services. Sincerely, your uncle. I mean, like, ugh, that guy. Atlas de Mornay capitulation. Not sure about his offer. We'll see what the future brings. I've been so focused on defying my uncle, of fighting to keep his hands off this manor, that I never realized how much this place actually means to me. But since I've been here, I can feel the presence of my mother and father. I sense the entire history of my family and the deep roots we have in this place. I want to honor my parents. I want to honor all of my ancestors. The Croft family may be all but destroyed, but I will make our name and our home great again. Great. I'm very happy for you. It looks like you had some work done since uh, like two minutes ago. So where I have five more relics and one more document to get. I wonder which document I'm missing. Let's see. All right, so I did consult the internet and I found where my last document is. And it, we are inside the crypt and we're, well, just, just before we go into the main area and there's a document right here. I walked right past. I expected a sort of crushing finality to grip me when we returned to the manor to lay Amelia to rest. Indeed, once the last of my funereal duties were performed, I fully believed that I would crumple to the ground next to her and expire, not from grief, but succumbing to the terrible exhaustion of the last few weeks. Mm. Instead, as the mausoleum stone slid into place, I felt a sort of peace and energy, one that I confess caught me entirely off guard. This was not the terminus of our story, and I was a fool to think so. Her body may be gone, but her spirit still resides here, in the manor, in me, in Lara. Her soul is forever twined with mine, and death is just a momentary interruption. I walked out of that cold quiet into a sunlight that burned my eyes, and I have never been more sure. Death is not the end, and there is work yet to do. Oh. Lord Croft's journals of return. This is where it all started, our family obsession. Well, now it's time for me to complete our work. And then I had complete family history achievement unlocked when I clicked on that one. So yeah, this was the only entrance. So this is how they got to the crypt. I just, I don't know. I just feel like that's really kind of strange to have in your front room, basically. But actually, before I leave, I've got... 
five more relics. And it did say as the game progressed, or when I finish the main game, I can come back and look at... I'll have more relics to uncover. But I just want to see if there's any that are missing. It doesn't seem like it, but let me just double check. All right, well, I do have some relics that at least I did miss. And I was looking at documents when I last left you, but there was a document, or not, not document, a relic. Um, Where was it? Ancestor's Legacy, located in Croft Manor. And the internet said it's in here. <laughs> and I walked right past this who knows how many times. <laughs> but it is... The Croft Family Crest. Nice. That looks really cool. Imagine if you had a crest. I mean, I guess everybody can, can't you really go on the internet and like make your own crest these days, but that's that relic. So now I'm down to just four. So yeah, there was this ladder over here that I never used. <laughs> and apparently there might be something up here for me to look at. Probably, probably would have been a good thing to find earlier. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. This picture was taken in the library. Eighteen twenty additions to the main hall in progress. Oh, hmm. very cool. The renovations photograph of the library. Okay, well now I'm down to needing three more relics. All right, well, from what I have gathered without trying to spoil myself, the last three relics are the ones that I can find after I finish the main game. So I will attempt to remember to come back here after the main game. But I made my way down the office, kind of still just poking around to see what else was different. And look, there's like this whole, like, I don't know, area here where it talks about the first game where the wrecks found off of the coast of Yamatai. And it's got the girl from the first game and Trinity mystery suicide in the tube and... Then there's another panel here of more research, it looks like. I don't feel like this was in here earlier, but yeah, it looks like the areas in the manor have updated slightly. So anyway, this looks like the end as of right now of the Blood Ties DLC. So on Tuesday, we will head back to the main game. I'm not sure if I'm going to progress the story along more or go back to previous areas because I think I might have enough tools to finish up those areas completely. But anyways, as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Tuesday with another new Rise of the Tomb Raider video.